everything was associated to being fat. I'm not happy because I'm fat. I don't have a boyfriend because I'm fat. I can't go anywhere because I'm fat. I can't wear this outfit because I'm fat. Everything revolved around my weight. For most of the time that I've been alive, I didn't feel beautiful. I didn't love my body. I loved from the neck up. My thighs have always been like big and thick. My mom would put me like these little like legging sets like that match with the top and the bottom. A family member had said to my mom like why would you put that on her? She's too fat for that. That's where it all started. And one of my uncles said to me you'll never find a man because you're fat. This was about 12 or 13 years old. So at 12, like, I wasn't even thinking about a man at that time. I didn't realize how much, like, I internalized that until I got older and, like, really held on to that, like, associating fatness with not being able to find love. For two years straight, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't hang out with my friends. I didn't go to my family events. No one wanted to hear my voice. No one wanted to hear the fat girl speak. So I started expressing myself through my clothes. You're pretty for a fat girl. You're pretty for a fat girl. And I'm just like, like, but why can't it just be like, I'm pretty. At about 10 years old, I started journaling. Every day when I would come home from school, I would write everything that happened throughout my day. And if you look at it, you would see like verbatim the nasty things that people would say. One of my mom's friends that would be around all the time, she was like, every time I would see you, you would be so quiet. But the two things that I remember about you were you would always have your headphones on and a crazy outfit. <laughs> and then I had to really think about that and unpack that. Like, why would I always have the headphones on, right? To keep the noise out, to keep the negativity out, to stay within myself, but then expressing myself through the clothes. I witnessed something like really, really intense someone almost getting killed and it was really really close to me like in my family in that experience having to be silenced again I wasn't able to speak because of my weight and now I wasn't able to speak from a traumatic event so it's just like trauma upon trauma upon trauma I would not leave my rooms. I didn't speak to anyone. It resulted in emotional eating. I associated like being skinny, I'm gonna be happy. Being skinny, I'm gonna have this. I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of being fat. I don't wanna be the fat girl anymore. I totally like shifted everything that I was doing. And I lost, I think like a hundred pounds. When I look back at pictures, like I look so like sick, like bad. After about six months of doing that, the weight came back on. I'm doing everything like I'm supposed to do, right? I'm supposed to be skinny if I'm eating this way. The doctors kept telling me, you're unhealthy. You need to lose weight. This is the only way that would happen with weight loss surgery. It entailed like cutting some of my stomach to make it smaller so I could eat less food. Some weight came off, but after a while, the weight came right back on. After the surgery, I was like, experienced really, really, really bad, bad pain. I told the doctor, they did a few tests. They said, well, we can't see anything. And I said, well, I didn't have these pains before the surgery that you suggested for me. So why am I having them now? They thought it was for my gallbladder. So they took the gallbladder out. Finally, after about like two, three years, they said that I had polycystic ovarian syndrome. And that was the reason as to why the weight was coming on. All they saw was a fat girl, a fat woman. That's unhealthy. That's wrong. We need to fix that. It was never like, no, this is the way Nova's was supposed to be. I appreciate my scars. I kind of call them like my power warriors. And they give me the power to continue to remind myself to like love my body as it is. At the moment, there's there's nothing that I would change. My body was storing the trauma that I had been going through all throughout my life. So as I'm healing and unpacking, that trauma is slowly releasing it. And so those pains are like slowly going away. What I'm working on is thinking about every day, finding a point within my body that I love and like really highlighting that point. If I say that, oh my God, you need to change that. Oh my gosh, that's ugly. No, you love that part. That's a great part of your body. 
Clothing was me expressing myself and using that voice that was silent. I'm confident enough to show my style, share my body with the world. One day, about like five, six years ago, I was getting dressed and I put my outfit on. It wasn't fun. It didn't like bring me joy. And so I had a pair of sandals on, put a pair of Nike socks on and I just like dropped. And I was just like, this is it. And I just felt so good. And ever since that day, I've just been putting Nike socks on with every single thing that I wear. This is a Nova dress. I feel amazing. Like, I feel like I'm just ready to take over the world. <laughs> but it also, like, brings out my, like, inner child of Nova. The little girl that was afraid to walk out her room and out of the mirror. I'm fat and fabulous, just like I've always been. But I'm not afraid to, like, walk in that. And when I started to love myself completely and I asked the universe for someone that's going to love me the way that I love myself, the universe sent him to me. We actually met in Home Depot. <laughs> so I was wearing my dog bag, Toby. The thing that stuck out the most to him was the fact that I was confidently walking in myself and in my style. I feel the most free when I'm in my house in one of my outfits with the music on, dancing all around. That's not something that I did before. Because I was hiding my body, I was so ashamed of my body. I didn't even want to move my body. Like, everyone in my family would tell you, Nova doesn't dance. We've never seen Nova dance before. And my boyfriend, he was like, what are you talking about? She dances every day. But they didn't see that part of me, right? They saw me hiding myself. He sees the, the authentic Nova, the most happiest Nova that there ever has been. I would tell my seven-year-old self to walk out that door, wear that outfit, and don't stop. That I'm living my life for me and no one else. This is the first time I've ever been able to do that. You have to get dressed every day. So it's a constant reminder to yourself, to your body, that you love it. Because when you put things on that you love, you're showing your body that you love your body. A few years ago, I would never be able to do this. It just shows me that, like, I've grown and, like, the work that I'm, I'm doing within myself is, like, it's really meaningful and it's, like, come a long way. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Getting Dressed, an act of self-love. This week's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Is there something that's interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? For me personally, one of the things that prevented me from reaching my potential and feeling the most free and whole in myself was my journey with my body image. It wasn't until doing Style Like You and starting the What's Underneath project that combined with therapy has been incredibly healing on my journey and I feel more free than I ever have. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own professional licensed therapist. And you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line and it's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash style like you. That's better H-E-L-P. And join over 1 million people who are taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Special offer for Style Like You listeners. You can get 10% off your first month by going to betterhelp.com slash style like you.